Hi there, and welcome back to Triplicate. And um, as you know, if you follow the channel, most of the projects that involve a micro these days, I use the STM32, and I use them on the Nucleo boards because they're cheap and they're powerful, and they're not too hard to do. But something I have always struggled at on all the projects I've started is well getting started setting up the project so this is going to be a short video purely about how to set up a project on a nucleo board uh, so firstly we need to go over to the computer and set the software project up so the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a project um, a folder to put our project in. Uh, so new folder and we're going to call it new project because we're just creating a project we're not going to do anything in it and I missed any out of that. Okay, so we, now we have a project folder. So, firstly, we need to start System Workbench and create a workspace for our new project. Okay, so that has opened in whatever workspace, the Mean Green workspace. So we, when it finally finishes loading itself up, are going to create a new workspace by switch workspace to other <coughs> and we are going to browse uh, to triplicate nucleo project and we are going to make a new folder called new oh, come on. Nucleo Project Workspace. Okay, we're going to select that. Hopefully. And we are going to say OK. And it will now take some time to completely restart System Workbench. Okay, so now we have an empty workspace. So we will put that to the bottom for now and open CubeMX. Right, this is offering us some recent projects, but we want to start a project from ST Board. Okay, and our board in this case is the F4 for 6RE, this one. So we want to start project 
Initialize peripherals to, yep. Default mode, we will do that. Right, and here it is. So it's all already allocated some bits and pieces. For instance, port A5 at the bottom here is the green LED, which we will get to flash just to prove our project's working. So now we could go into uh, peripherals and open peripherals and set them up, but we won't for the minute. We will just leave it as is because we're just trying to generate the project. So having got our CubeMX project started, we need to save it. File, save project as. Now CubeMX wants, to, it wants you to give it a folder rather than a file. And we will see why in a minute. But we also want to navigate to Nucleo project and we want to make a new folder Nucleo project software that'll do so that should appear in there so we now hit save And if we look in the folder, we've got Nucleus Project Software and in there we currently have the IOC file which is the CubeMX data. Okay, so now we have an important step. Um, we need to go into the Project Manager and we need to set the tool chain to SW4STM32. Okay, because otherwise it'll be looking for the wrong compiler. So now we can generate code. And we should see in this folder here the code appearing. So if I hit generate code, and we'll start generating some code like that. Okay, and what you do not want to do is open project at this point. Do not open project, just close that. So, we now go back to system workbench and we want to import the newly created project into this workspace so we want open projects from file system okay we want to select a directory okay chris triplicate nucleo project nucleo project software we give it that and hopefully it will find the project in there and decide it's happy with it. Okay. So now if we go window, show view, project explorer. There it is, the welcome screen. Okay, we have a main.c. Let's have a look at that. Right, so now we're just going to get the LED to blink. So this is the main function while one. And we will stick here just a little bit of code which toggles the, uh, the onboard LED every second just to check it's working. So, 
Uh, shall we check that that actually builds all right? Project. We try it build all. We go into console and it's. Okay, it's built all, so shall we see if we can get it to run? Okay, here she goes. We have here a USB lead plugged into a USB hub somewhere. So let's plug her in and see if this board fires up. have not yet fired this board up at all. There we go. And we have quite a fly, fast flash on our green LED. So we now want to put our little bit of code in and that should slowly make it flash. I don't know, about a quarter of the speed or something like that. Okay. So we have our Nucleo connected. So what do we want to do now? We want to run it. We want to debug as AC6 STM32. So let's see if that's going to go. Okay, it does. So it's done. So what's it doing? So now we want to, we've uploaded it to the nuclear board. Unfortunately, this doesn't automatically run it. So we now need to hit go and yes, there we go. The LED is blinking slowly. So let's stop it. Uh, we are in main. Let's just get Final sanity check, get it to uh, blink very slowly, five seconds, so run. And now if we hit debug, it should remember which particular. And it, which particular debug thing it asked us to use. Let's finish building. Okay, is that done? Done. So we press go again and we look at it. And it's pressing, it's pressing, it's flashing very slowly now. So there we go. That is how to set up a Nucleo project using CubeMX and System Workbench. Uh, so I think we're going to uh, call it a day on this video. That's all I wanted to do on this video was to make a video on how to do it. So the next time I come to start a new project all I need to do is watch the video and it'll tell me exactly how to do it. And I hope this video uh, is helpful in telling you how to do it. And you don't spend a day scratching your head and going around in circles and getting it wrong as I seem to have done in the past. So um, that's it for this video. So it's uh, goodbye from Triplicate for now. Goodbye.